People struggle with clay soil, and they try all kinds of ways to improve that soil. One of the things they like to do is add different kinds of amendments to that soil. And one of the most popular ones is gypsum. Everybody will tell you, add gypsum to your clay soil, and it will fix your clay problem. Does this really work? Will gypsum make the soil softer so you can dig in it? Will it improve drainage? Does it change the pH of your soil? Should you be using gypsum in the garden? Well, the answer is maybe, but probably not. To really understand the answer, you have to know a little bit more about gypsum and clay soil. And that's what we're going to have a look at in this program. There are some really good reasons to use gypsum in the garden, but you have to know when to use it and how to use it. Which kind of soil conditions does gypsum improve? Don't just go and add it because somebody online told you to. You can actually damage your soil by doing that. What is gypsum? Gypsum is another name for a simple chemical called calcium sulfate, and it's used to make drywall gypsum board. It contains calcium ions and sulfate ions, both of which are plant nutrients. Gypsum is a favorite amendment for soil, especially clay soil, where it is claimed to do all kinds of wonderful things, such as uh, improve the structure of clay, improve drainage, and increase pH, add nutrients, improve compaction, and uh, reduce aluminum toxicity. I'm going to have a look at each of these and determine if these claims are true. Let's start with the claim that gypsum improves clay soil. And in most cases, this is a myth. Gypsum does not improve clay soil. However, there are a few special conditions where it will help. The first of these is sodic soil. This is soil that has a high level of sodium. This can happen in coastal areas or soil that has been watered with seawater. It can also happen in very arid soil. You can do a lab test called a SAR test to find out if you have sodic soil. Gypsum will work for sodic soil. The calcium in gypsum replaces the sodium, which in turn loosens the soil and makes it easier to till. The second special case is something called dispersive soil. This is soil that loses its structure and falls apart when exposed to pure water. The calcium in gypsum helps hold the soil together and improves it. Most gardeners who are trying to improve their clay soil do not have either sodic soil or dispersive soil, which means that adding gypsum will not improve their soil. The claim that gypsum always improves clay soil is a myth. Don't use gypsum unless you know you have either sodic soil or dispersive soil, and most of the soil in North America does not have these problems. Does gypsum improve drainage? For the reasons just discussed, gypsum will improve drainage for sodic soil, but it does nothing to help drainage on non-sodic soil. Will gypsum increase pH? This is a very common myth that is simply not true. It probably stems from the use of lime to raise pH. Lime is calcium carbonate. It sounds a lot like calcium sulfate, which is gypsum, but they are very different chemicals. Yeah. Gypsum does not change soil pH. Does gypsum add calcium to the soil? It does add calcium to all types of soil, but if you need to add calcium, gypsum may not be your best option. Most garden soils are not deficient in calcium, in which case adding any form of calcium is a waste of time and money. How do you know if your soil needs calcium? You know, get a soil test done, and if your soil has low levels of calcium, you can add more using either lime or gypsum. Each one offers different advantages. Lime is ground limestone, and the calcium in it becomes plant available slowly over several years. It is a cheaper source of calcium and is effective for a longer period of time. It is also a good choice for acidic soil because lime increases soil pH. On the other hand, gypsum is much faster acting because it more easily dissolves in water. But for this same reason, it is only effective for a few months and needs to be reapplied. It is a better choice for soil with a pH above 6.5 since it does not raise soil pH. What about sulfur? Does gypsum add sulfur? 
Gypsum does add sulfur to soil, and plants can use the sulfate ions. And however, the easiest and cheapest way to add sulfur to soil is to use agricultural sulfur. It is a bit slower acting, but it is also longer lasting. Uh, what about compacted soil? Will gypsum help that situation? No, it won't. Gypsum will not improve compacted soil. Most soil scientists agree that gypsum will not be useful for improving problems due to soil texture, compaction, hard pans, clay pans, or high water tables. Can gypsum reduce aluminum toxicity in plants? This claim is actually true. Aluminum can become toxic to plants in acidic soil when the pH is below 5. Gypsum helps knock aluminum ions off clay, allowing water to wash them away, thereby reducing the aluminum level around roots. Now you understand gypsum better, and you know if you should use it in your soil. But what about some other soil characteristics that you really should know about? One is the soil texture. Do you really have clay soil, and what is the amount of clay in your soil? There's a very simple test for that, and you'll find out about that in this video right here. If you really do have clay soil, and gypsum isn't going to work for you, but you still want to improve clay soil, this is how you do it right here. Happy gardening.